an inkling reading the first book, going, oh my God, this is, this is amazing. This, this could really kick off. I think it was just the first, the, after the first season, the, the fans' response. Everyone was going around the world, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> I remember when we did the pilot, that was very exciting because we had a feeling it was going to be quite a big show and I was going, God, I could cycle to work. This was fantastic. It was just over the hill. I remember being pretty nervous, meeting people like Sean Bean that I'd watched for years and getting on a horse called Fat Bob that everybody went straight ahead and Fat Bob went towards the pear tree over there. I'll remember this forever. It's been the biggest job of my life. I don't think this will ever happen. You're on a show with hundreds of people. There's been no assholes, no people, divas. There's been no nothing, not even a suggestion, because they know what great thing they're in. And you feel like you're part of this family. People coming. You can shit later, there's people coming. Morning. You want something? Favourite day was the fight between the Hound and Brienne of fucking Tarth. We'd studied and trained for that a long time, and when it all came to fruition, that was just fantastic. No! <laughs> the Red Wedding and I didn't really read into it in the script of what happened. I think I just did my bit and went la 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 and then when it came out I remember I watched it in the morning. I'm a big guy, big tough guy but guess what I burst into tears. That was an absolute shocker. I remember just watching going no 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 what? It was brilliant. <laughs> Too late. Oh, I loved the time with uh, with Maisie. Maisie's brilliant, so clever, so on it. Really good. That whole road trip stuff that we were doing, that was just a joy. Who would pass the bloody gate? The bloody hound and his traveling companion, Arya Stark. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to miss the hound. Sometimes there's no acting required. There's a lot of hound in me, by the way. <laughs> when I got that helmet, I'm going, what? It's not very subtle, is it? And when you're riding it, it's the most ridiculous thing, because you're... the jaw moves up and down. But it's classic. I've got one at home, and I'm terrified. I've appeared on a motorbike behind someone wearing that in the middle of nowhere, and they nearly crashed in front of me. <laughs> right beside me. We've been on it for eight seasons, and I'm, I'm going to miss just uh, all my all my the, all my friends. I'm just thinking of when I ended up with the Brotherhood quite a lot, and we were jamming every night and stuff, and we just had such great times. Sometimes too good a time, but it's it's been really it's been fantastic. It's happy and sad. The, the script's fantastic, and everybody's so, storylines are all getting sewn up together. Everyone's buzzing about it. The, the read through, everyone was just going crazy. But there's a sadness. It's it's a great show coming to an end. I'm trying to enjoy it. I'm still walking around a grumpy bastard, but I'm aware it's TikTok, TikTok. I'll tell you what I won't miss: walking around with half a fucking beard, three quarters of the year, looking like a fanny. Look at it.
Hey, it's Lisa. For all you GOT fans, there are some cool facts from the series in order to make their reactions as realistic as possible. Most of the Game of Thrones cast hasn't read the books. And in all of the Game of Thrones scenes where Tyrion eats meat, actor Peter Dinklage, a strict vegetarian, is actually eating tofu. Now, who's your favourite character? Let me know below. And remember to click down here to subscribe or on the side for more great content.